Have you already tried the new AI models from Baidu, Ernie 4.5 and X1? Well, if you have tried to create a new bad account and like me, you don't live in China, don't speak Chinese and don't have a Chinese number, you may run into some problems. In fact, Baidu website has many restrictions outside China and creating a new account through that portal may be a little bit tricky. This web page, for example, is simply not working without a Chinese number. And as you can see, many users are complaining about it. They are all requesting worldwide access. So in this video, I want to show you a quick solution that worked for us in order to create a Baidu account and access its new AI models for free. The key part here is to use the Baidu mobile app for signing up instead of using the website version in the browser. So for this video, you just need an Android phone and nothing more. Actually, if you're using an iPhone, you should be able to follow a pretty similar strategy. Now, first of all, we have to install the Baidu app and you can open the Play Store and check for its availability. As you can see in my case, the Baidu app is not available through the Play Store, so it means that we have to install it manually. So before opening your browser, make sure that it has the right privileges for installing new apps. You have to open the Android settings, then go to apps, select the uh, browser you want to use, in this case Chrome, and make sure the install unknown apps privilege is allowed. Now we can open the browser. Open a Google tab and search for Beidou mobile app. Now we can proceed with two different strategies. The first is to download the application from the official Baidu website, in this case from here you will be able to download the APK file. However, you may encounter some incompatibility problems. For this reason, I suggest you to download the Baidu app through Aptoid. So let's scroll down and open this link. Okay, let's click on download. It will download, first of all, the Aptoid app. We can proceed with the installation. Okay, the screen is from the Aptoid app and now we can proceed with installing the Baidu app. Okay, the app is now installed, so we can go back to the home screen and here is the Baidu app, perfect. Now, before proceeding, we need another application. Let's open again the Play Store and search for Text Plus. Okay, the app is this one. Basically, using this app, you will be able to get a temporary free number in order to receive the SMS during the sign up procedure. Now, if you want, you can skip this step and try using your own phone number. However, it may not work. So I suggest to use this app in order to avoid problems. I mean, it is free and pretty easy to use. Okay, we just have to create a new account. Now we can get our free number. We can select the free plan. So from here, you have to pick a state and an R record. You can pick them uh, uh, randomly. However, in this case, because I already have a TextPlus account, I will just sign in into that one. Okay, so this is the number I got from TextPlus. We can simply copy it. And now we can jump into the Baidu's app. So the app is in Chinese. However, I will guide you through the sign up process. The first thing you have to do is to click on the icon, on this icon, on the uh, bottom right corner, which is the profile icon. Then we have to select the uh, sign in strategy. In this case, we have to use the phone number, which is this icon. And here we can put the number. So my number is this one. I'm just removing the dashes and then you have to select the uh, prefix. In this case, it is a US number, so it is the plus one. Make sure to mark this checkbox, which is for the policies. Okay, and then we can continue. Okay, now we have just to wait for the verification number. Again, here we have to agree for the policies. After putting your phone number, you will receive a temporary SMS. If you use the text plus, you'll receive the SMS in this section, this one. Okay, as you can see, this is the temporary code. If you don't receive the SMS on your first try, you can click this button for receiving another code. As you can see, here there is the, uh, the new code. And that's it. This is our temporary code. Okay, perfect. Here we have two text box. Uh, this one is for the username, and instead this one is for the password. Okay, we can now proceed. And that's it. We have now our Baidu account. Now we can use the same credentials for joining inside the web interface from desktop devices. It is important, however, in this process to keep active the temporary number. However, for now, we can move to the desktop version. So let's go back to our browser and open this page, yian.baidu.com. The page, of course, is in Chinese. If you're using Chrome, you should be able to translate to English. Now we can sign in. We can sign in using uh, username and password. We have to check the phone number again. This is my verification number. Again, for this, you have to use always the same temporary number you used during the sign up. Next, here again, we have to accept some policies, accept the agreements, and now we should be able to uh, use the Baidu models. Let's put again in English. So from here you can pick the model you want to use. For example, this one is Ernie 4.5. It is a traditional large language model, like for example GPT-4O. 
or instead if you want to use the reasoning capabilities you can pick uh, Ernie X1 which is a competitor uh, for example of uh, Dipseeker 1 okay let's do a simple test okay so this is the famous question of asking how many hairs are in the word uh, raspberry just to check the reasoning capabilities okay perfect the answer is correct however we will test it better in a detailed video and that was all let us know in the comments if you need any help